Hey guys, Coach Gaglione from GaglioneStrength.com. Uh, thank you guys for stopping by. I just wanted you guys to make sure before you leave, check out the links below for more information on how we can get you stronger. And now on to our Meathead Monday tip of the week. Hey guys, today we're going to talk about how to improve your low back health for powerlifting. The biggest thing that you can do for your low back health is just understanding proper positioning and just understanding how your low back works. So your spine is kind of designed for more stability here more mobility in the upper back, and more mobility in the hips. So we want to try and lock this down. So one of the biggest problems that we see is forward flexing of the spine, and a missed squat or deadlift. Another thing we see with more advanced lifters is having the chest up too much and having too much extension at the back, which isn't good either. Good thing to look for is look at their rib position from the front. Are their ribs popping out, so going to that overextension. So if the ribs are flaring up here, okay, and you get this big curve in the back, that's going to be too much of a chest up position, so you got to understand the coup. So you want to draw down at the stomach, breathe into here, to make sure you have a good breathing, a good breath and brace. And also just to practice good posture throughout the day. So one thing we like to think about, if we an invisible string kind of, so getting bad posture, and a string kind of pulling us up, getting tall, the tall and pushing the head up. So if you think about getting tall on all your exercises, you won't be too flexed, you won't be too, too extended, you'll be right in the middle. So most important thing you do for your low back health, understanding good posture, understanding your lower back position, making sure that your ribs aren't flaring up, and making sure that you're not slumping at the back. So get nice and tall, push that head up, draw down the stomach, engage the glutes, engage the back. So if you work the, the last upper back, the abdominal region, and your glutes all work together for stabilizing your spine, make sure that's all tight, make sure that it's on tension, get nice and tall, and do that for all your exercises, and your lower back will health will improve dramatically no matter how heavy you're going. That's our tip for this week. Before you guys go, make sure you guys check out the links below. Thank you for stopping by, stay strong, and we'll see you soon.